everyone. In this video, we will going to learn how to use identity management self-service portal. Identity management provides an integrated method of managing users and their access to applications. It is used for password management, self-service options, provisioning and deprovisioning of roles, and assignment of privileges. In this video, we will see the steps for password related activities and role assignment. You will now going to see how to use the identity management self service portal for the very first time. You will now going to hit the link http colon double slash im dot india post dot gov dot in slash identity. Now you will going to enter the user ID and the random password. You will be receiving your random password or have received your random password on your registered mobile number. After logging into this, you will be mandatorily asked to change your password. Your new password should match all the conditions that are written in place. After writing the password, you have to set your five security answers. These answers should not be same. You should remember these answers as they will be randomly prompted when you forget your password. Now your task will be submitted and you will be asked to log in again after a gap of 10 to 15 minutes. Now, you will again going to log in into the application with your user ID and your new password. After that, you will be landing to your home page. Now on the home page, the home tab will be available for all the DOP employees, while User role provisioning will be available for officials like circle work, division work, etc. who have the authority or role assignment. This is how you can access IS Self Service Portal for the first time. Now we will see how to retrieve your password when you have forgotten it. You will going to click on Forget Password link and will enter your user ID. After that, you have to answer three security questions one by one. These are the questions that you answered when you first time logged in into IAM portal. For each security question, there is a limit of three wrong attempts. After exhausting this limit, you can continue using forget password limit up to three times. After answering all three questions correctly, you will be asked to set a new password. Your password should match all the conditions that are written in blue. Can you use unique passwords which does not match to your old password? After successfully submitting the task, you can log in into the portal after a gap of 10 to 15 minutes. Now we will see how to change SSO password and email or Active Directory password. You will go into logging into the identity management portal. Here you will go to click on change SSO password link. After clicking onto it, you will be prompted to a page where you have to set your new password. Your new password should match all the conditions that are written in blue. This password is for your applications like Employee Portal, POS, etc. After submitting your task, you can check the status of your task. For that, you will go to Home Task and you click on View My Submitted Task. And you click on Search button. As now you can see, the status of your task is completed. It means your SSO password was successfully changed. You will now going to see how to change asset directory or email password.
we will click on this link and change the password according to the conditions that are written in blue. After submitting the task, you can check the status of the task the same way that was shown earlier. Now we will see how to change the answer of a security question. You will going to click on the link Change Question and Answer. Suppose you want to change the answer of a question, what is your favorite color? You will click on the answer. Change the answer. And click on Submit button. For this also, you can check the status of your task same way that was shown earlier. This was all for COP users. Now we will see user role provision. This task will be available for few users who will be nominated by a GOP and will have some additional rights like granting access of an additional facility or an additional POS or SAP rule to other GOP users. All users will be having their designation rules, but if there is a need of some additional rules, then we need to contact the official who is having a role delegation authority. There are five rule assignment rules available for a user. First is additional facility above hierarchy access which is used for providing the access of offices which are above its own office hierarchy. Next is additional facility access is used for providing access to offices which are in its own office hierarchy. Next is additional facility hierarchy access which is used for providing access of sub offices. Next is Fewer assignment which is used for providing a functional role such as role for LTBS operator or TBS operator. Next is SAP assignment which is used for providing designation such as postmaster or senior postmaster. SAP and POS role assignment are done in the same manner, therefore I will be explaining about POS assignment only. Suppose for a postmaster and senior postmaster is nominated by a division as a role delegation authority, then he would be having the link available in his iron portal. Now, if a postal assistant who is working on a counter is required to work as an ITVS operator also, then he needs to contact postmaster or senior postmaster for an additional role. Now, we will see how to give a role. We will now going to click the link and search the user. For testing purpose, we will be using a test user. As the login user belongs to Karnataka Circle, we will demonstrate role assignment for Karnataka Circle. And same will be applicable for other circle and division hierarchy. Now we will select the user, click on assign role tab. and click on Add a Provision Rule button. Now we will click on POS IPVS Operators checkbox and select it. As you can see that it is now checked, you will click on Submit button. Role provisioning and SAP assignment is done in the same way. Similarly, for SAP assignment, a person who is a postmaster has to work as a postal assistant. Also, the designated authority can assign him the role of postal assistant. This is how roles are given in SAP and POS. Now suppose you want to remove a person's POS role. For that, you will go on Steer's Assignment link, you will go into Search the User, select the user and will go on Assign Role Task. In this, you will uncheck the checkbox 
of IPVS operator and then click on Submit button. You can check the status of your task as it was shown earlier. Now we will see additional facility tool assignment. Flow provisioning in all three additional facilities are done in the same manner. Therefore, I am going to explain you only one that is additional facility access. In case of additional facility access, role of the user would remain same with an access to an additional facility which is granted to him. Now you are going to click on the link and search the user. You will going to select the user from the list. Now from available circle list, we will going to select Synaptica Circle. We will click on the circle and click on Add Value button. According to the circle selected, available office size will be automatically populated. After selecting the office size, available office will be automatically populated. After selecting the office and click on Add button, you will click on Submit button. This is how user will get additional facility access. Now we will see how to remove a user facility access. We will click on additional facility access. Search the user. Select the user. After that, you will click on the office from the select office list and click on the remove button. Then we will click on submit button. You can check the status of your task as it was shown earlier. Provisioning and deprovisioning of rules in the remaining two are done in the same manner. This was all about user role provisioning. Our demo for I self service portal comes to an end. For any more queries, refer to the FAQ document and identity management user manual. Thank you for watching the video.